Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial and the next tutorial, we're going to be covering two of the most important processes in data compression. It's the discrete cosine transform and the discrete wavelet transform. And uh, there are a direct uh, connection to the last three tutorials where we covered Fourier transform uh, and they're very Fourier related and it's based on, on very similar mathematical foundations and that's why we we spend a, a, some time on the Fourier because it creates the the background in order for you to more or less uh, understand what the DCT and the WT is and um, what is the D DCT? DCT is very important in JPEG and Wavelet in JPEG 2000 uh, in this one we're just going to talk about DCT uh, it's very widely used uh, in, in JPEG uh, it's also used in, for numerical analysis and, and the solutions uh, of partial differential equations um, but uh, let's not get too much involved into that uh, in this case here uh, this page here from, from the Wikipedia is very nice it explains uh, the DCT1, DCT2, the inverse and uh, it goes more in detail. Take a look of this page. Is um, it 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 gets into detail of how it works, the high, the low, and w what the bases are. It's very it's it's a very nice page. But also, I found a, a nice demo. I will include this demo in the description of the video that it shows the the relationship between the luminance, the chrominance. And, and you can adjust and you can see you can find an area and it will give you the surrounding the neighbors pixels the neighboring pixels and it's really nice because it shows you the the eight by eights and and it's it's a, it's a very nice one of you know one of the nicest demos I've seen uh, related to the DCT I will include this in the description of the video uh, go there, take uh, get a take a look. It's it's a nice one, and um, the, I'm gonna be using uh, the code actually here in the JPEG. Before we get into the code, let me explain a little bit of what's going on. Um, when you doing data compression, what it's doing is the the image is split into blocks into eight by eights. Uh, you apply the DCT forward discretization or quantization it's the, the image is quantized you go through entropy encoding using any of the uh, encoding uh, like Hoffman or arithmetic coding whatever you're using and then it, you get the encoded JPEG image then you take the the encoded JPEG image you come back here now and now you do everything that you did here but in reverse you do the entropy encoding the other way dequantize it okay and then use the inverse DCT and then you get the image reassembled from the blocks what they mean by these blocks are these blocks that right here uh, let me see if I, I find a it won't let me here now. Oh, actually, it did. These blocks right here, um, you're going to see it when we run our code, but uh, this is what they're talking about. Okay? But this is a, a really nice demo. It really, it really, it's a really nice one. It tells the RGB and the, and, um, and this one here, the YCBCR, um, that is used for video and, and, um, uh, and um, images. Uh, it's, it's a very nice one. This one also is a nice page because it shows the, the Y, the CB, and the CR, the original, and uh, and how we are able to uh, to um, to more or less throw away some of these zeros right here through through the process. Okay, but go there if you have time. Uh, take a take a look at this page 
it, it does a very well explanation a very good explanation of, 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 of how it works okay but let's get into the code I'm using some, some code from from this um, um, it's an example that they use from one of the tutorials it's a really nice one and um, and this is the one that I will be using because I it's the best one I found online and um, I'm going to explain the code now I'm importing here CV computer vision 2 the CV2 in NumPy the usual suspects okay um, we're cutting the image into the blocks those blocks that I explained to you we're printing the height the width we're cropping the image into a, mul a size that is uh, a multiple of the 8 by 8s okay this is what this is we using this image right here is a PNG file you can use a JPEG it doesn't matter it's going to read the image it's gonna make a, a, a grayscale image print the height the width and it's gonna go down here it's gonna save it into this variable into the trans variable and it's gonna do it for the rows and the columns okay it's applying here is applying the DCT the forward in inverse DCT this is the forward uh, discrete cosine transform and it's applying it to the rows the columns and then it's saving the image into the, a transform JPEG or could be a transport uh, PNG doesn't matter and uh, it's, it's taking the gray is doing the columns the rows saving it into the image uh, it's gonna show the, the original and here it's normalizing right here and where is it uh, and this is the the important part here is applying the inverse DCT what it's doing here is reconstructing the original image from the transform image from the trans as you remember it was saved here into the trans variable and is now applying the inverse DCT to it okay and is you get back your transform image okay and also here it does uh, a calculation of, of the difference between the back transform image and the original image Okay, and it's going to calculate it and print the difference. Okay, but let's run it. And what is going on here? Let's clear these. And let's run it. This is the image. And I'm going to pick an area. I'm going to pick an area on the tower here and as you can see there's not much change going on here it's the image of the selected region but it's all one color and as you can see there's not much going on here either uh, the the DCT is, is, is very very constant here but if we pick an area let's say uh, let me show you what the original looks like Is it transforms and the original is right here and this is what the original looks like if you can see here if I pick an area right here it's going to be a lot different from from that one right there um, but let's do it let's run it again so you can see it close this one is open as you can see there's not much you're gonna see a change now when I run it again so let's run it and now I'm going to pick an area right here okay as you can see the the square blue square right there and as you can see a lot more going on there's a lot more going on in the neighboring pixels and it's the this is the what is saved the it reconstructed from the original it reconstructed from this but this is what I wanted to show you 
these are the blocks that they were talking about this is what it uses in order to reconstruct where is it there it is as you can see these are the blocks so it's taking it it's taking from here and getting this one right here and as you can see it's very close to the original very 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 close to the original not very much uh, lost there okay but it's a very nice program because it really shows two three of the most important points of DCT and um, and like I said I'm going to include uh, in the description of the video go there and, and take a look and like I always say if you like this video please click the like box and subscribe and I will see you next time with wavelets uh, with the wavelet transform thank you for watching have a great day